everyone welcome back to my channel um, I should have worn this shirt for my last video about emotional labor but I completely forgot so I'm wearing it today because it's an awesome shirt emotional labor $5.99 per minute right so today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different I'm gonna be talking about my favorites in makeup and in feminist books so we will get right into it. Um, I will leave beneath um, my makeup look today. It's kind of hard to see, this lighting is not the best. Um, but I just did a very glittery Urban Decay makeup eyeshadow look today. So I'll leave what I used in the comments. Um, but let's get started. So first, um, one of my favorite things right now, I bought these recently from Spectrum Cosmetics, or Spectrum Collections, rather. <sighs> These brushes, um, they're fucking gorgeous, and they work very well as well. <laughs> of course that matters, right? Um, I got this brush holder from Amazon, I think, but um, this is actually from a subscription box, this one um, that I'm subscribed to called Goddess Provisions. So that's where this is from. But the rest of these, the teal and the, the purple ones, are um, Spectrum. And oh my god, they are so beautiful, as you can see. They're even prettier in person, and they work really well too. So those are definitely on my list right now. Um, one of the first books I'm gonna, I'm gonna recommend to y'all would be Playing the Whore. Oh, and my placeholder came out by Melissa Gira, Gira Grant. Um, if you want to know more about sex work, first of all, follow her on Twitter and other sex workers, but also buy this book and read it. Um, it's such a good primer. And she, I mean, honestly, just Google her and read all of her writing because it's superb. Um, so definitely get that. Um, another favorite makeup item of mine would be my foundation I wear every day. This is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in Buttercream, and it's just a really lightweight foundation, which is what I typically like to wear. I do have a more full coverage one, but daily I wear this, and it has SPF in it, and it's just, I like that it's lightweight, um, and feels like I got nothing on, which is great most of the time, right? Um, let's do another makeup thing while we're, while I got all this crap here in front of me. Um, everybody, I'm sure every, you've heard everybody talk about this. Um, Laura Mercier's uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Um, it's just really an excellent powder. Um, I typically can have more dry skin, specifically in the summer. Um, and, well, I have kind of combination, I guess, but by the end of the day, I definitely have drier skin, um, and so I can't use too much of this. Um, some days, I, I mean, I don't use this every day, but um, it's really great if you have, spe specifically if you have more oily skin, um, this is a really good mattifying product, so I would highly recommend that. Um, another Bare Minerals item that I really love is their blush. Um, I have, this is just in the shade Aphrodisiac, so looks like that. It's just a really pretty um, pink shade. Um, it seems to work well with my olive skin tone. So again, I don't wear blush daily, but um, when I do wear blush, it's usually that. Or I have had um, one of the NARS blushes for a while, I got it as a, a sample size, and some, I don't remember what, um, but since they're, you know, no longer going to be cruelty free, um, I won't be purchasing from them. So Bare Minerals, really great. Another book I want to recommend, of course, Audrey Lord's Sister Outsider. Um, I think anybody who is a feminist needs to read this book. Um, check it out from your library, go buy it, whatever you can do. 
it's just so, I mean, if you want to know more about black feminism and, um, you know, lesbian feminism and just Audre Lorde herself, the person, it's, it's, everybody should have this in their collection as far as I'm concerned. Um, or at least have it read because it's such a, an important, important staple to the field of feminism. Um, new, a sort of newer book, new-ish, I think this came out in, I don't remember, but, um, Men Explain Things to Me, Rebecca Solnit, um, again, a really great, um, she, so it's based off of an essay she wrote, um, called Men Explain Things to Me, um, and it's really all about mansplaining and male privilege and that kind of stuff, and, she, I love her writing. She just writes in a very um, accessible way and um, is funny too. So this is a really, I recommend this. And it's a, it's a short read too. So it's very doable. Um, this one, um, Sex from Scratch by Sarah Merck, who is, um, she, I, I believe, what is her title? I believe she's in charge of the of Bitch Media's online um, stuff. She's really great, and this is one of her books. And so it's all about making your own relationship rules and having ethical relationships and what that looks like for you and what that means. Um, and she, you know, interviews different people about their relationships and what they think is important. Um, so. I highly recommend this, especially if you are, um, you know, wanting to develop your relationships and, and figure out what, what it is you want, um, in a relationship. Um, so yeah, really great book. Um, another one that's more recent too, um, the first collection of Criticism by a Living Female Rock Critic by Jessica Hopper. Um, if you're interested in music at all, highly recommend this. Jessica Hopper's awesome. And um, this book is just, I mean, it's really, I mean, as, as the title says, it's really the first of its kind. And it's so great that this book is out there finally because it's needed. <laughs> um, so if you're into music or, you know, I mean, just even feminism in general, like, I would really recommend this book, so check that out. I'm just, like, throwing my books on the floor, so sorry about the noise. Um, so let's switch over to some more makeup. Another thing I really love that I could not live without is, of course, the Stilla Liquid Eyeliner Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. Um, I'm wearing this today. I this is like my liquid eyeliner of choice. I will sometimes use the Kat Von D tattoo liner, um, but I still always come back to Stilla um, because it has a special place in my heart. So if you want liquid eyeliner, go with this. And it does stay all day. Like it is, it is legit in what it says. Um, speaking of eyes. I don't do eyeshadow without Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Um, I've never had any issues with this. It seemed like, you know, I usually just sort of like dab it on my eyes and then like kind of blot it in, I guess, a bit. Um, and it really just helps. I mean, I've, I've noticed a huge difference since using this because back in the day when I would do eyeshadow, I like didn't put anything underneath because I was like, what? I don't know. Fuck it. Um, which you can still do. I mean do what you want to do, right? But if you want your eyeshadow to like stay on your eyes and like not come off and like look its best, I would highly recommend this primer potion or any primer potion really, but um, I like this one a lot. Another book I want to recommend is this book. Um, and I'll list all these books below too, so you don't have to like go back and figure out what I was holding up. Um, Making a Killing, Femicide, Free Trade, and La Frontera. Um, this is just, I mean, femicide and, you know, what's happened in Juarez, uh, like, and real, I mean, all over, but specifically in Juarez, Mexico, um, you know, is a huge issue. And 
um, it's one that I'm super interested in and um, I've read a lot about and still am like feeling like I want to read as much as I can about it. And so this book is really informative. Um, it's pretty uh, acad academic, so if you're not really into, you know, or don't like reading things that are more sort of on the academia side, then you might not be into this. Um, it's an anthology and um, I really love it. I mean, I think, again, if you don't know much about femicide and what's happening, um, you might really be interested in this and want to read this. So I would suggest this. Um, I can't not recommend a Bell Hooks book, right? Even though, yes, there are some problematic things that Bell Hooks has said and done, like saying Beyonce's a terrorist or whatever, like, I don't agree with that, Beyonce's fucking awesome, but um, this one, Feminist Theory from Margin to Center, um, I really like this book. Also, her book, Feminism is for Everybody, is really great, too. Like, that's an excellent primer as well. Um, I really like this. Um, it really is, again, it's feminist theory, so it is a bit more maybe academia-based. So, again, if you're not super into that, you might have a hard time with this or just find it dry. Um, so then, in that case, I would suggest reading Feminism is for Everybody. Um, but I still think this is pretty accessible, and it's bell hooks, so I mean, you gotta read it, you know? Come on. Decolonizing Trauma Work. This I got just this past year, I think, um, by Renee Linklater. <sighs> it's so good. Um, I mean, and it's so, it talks a lot about, like, indigenous healthcare practitioners and, um indigenous trauma theory and it's just I mean it's an amazing book so if you um it's yeah indigenous stories and strategies um it's so to help support our indigenous you know communities um I I really highly recommend reading this um and um seeing what you know actual indigenous people are are talking about and and wanting and um, how we can best support that. So this is really great. This book I love, Living the Revolution, um, Italian Women's Resistance and Radicalism in New York City, 1880 to 1945 by Jennifer Guglielmo. Um, really great book for me. I mean, I'm Italian and this book um, was, finding this I was just like, ah, like, <laughs> you know, um, because it's just so, it talks about the history and the things, you know, Italian women would do, um, as acts of resistance, um, like having women only spaces and like the kitchen was really considered, you know, sort of a woman's only space. And so, and yes, that's maybe related to some sexism, but Italian women really sort of made it, um, a safe space for them and, um, really created that, um, and really evolved that into um, being their own space. So the next makeup item I'm going to talk about is Glossier's Boy Brow, which I really love. Um, I have it in brown. You can get it in clear now too, which is cool. Um, but it just looks like this. Um, yeah, and just go like that. Um, sometimes I'll wear this alone without my Anastasia's dip brow pomade um it's not a pomade but dip brow um which this is also on my favorites because I wear it every day um but this is really great if you just want a little bit of color and um fill in some sparse areas on your brows I really like Glossier's boy brow I was gonna talk about Shrill by Lindy West which if you haven't read this you have to because it is hilarious and poignant and oh god just so incredible and everything Lindy writes is gold so this is definitely on my list one of my favorite favorite um eyeshadow palettes this year has been the naked heat palette um I love it I have the naked one palette and this is just 
amazing. Um, it's better than the Naked One palette, as far as I'm concerned. Um, really beautiful warm shades, um, and I love it. Um, let's see, another makeup favorite. Glow Kit Sweets by Anastasia. Beautiful highlighters. Um, I just love this. I, I mean, I love this brand a lot, so... <laughs> I don't know. Um, another book I really like, Women in Science. Um, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World, written and illustrated by Rachel Ignatovsky. Ignatovsky? I don't know how I'm pronouncing that right, but... The, the pictures in here are beautiful. Um, it's super accessible to all different types of people and pe you know different ages. So this is really really an excellent book. Get this if you if you haven't. Also in that same vein, Rad Women Worldwide, um, written by Kate Schatz. Also really just an accessible book. Um, talks about people like Venus and Serena Williams. Um, it's just a really great primer and like introductory um, book to rad women worldwide. What's not to like about that? My next fave palette is the Color Grain Queen of Hearts palette. Again, gorgeous colors um, and I just I really love this brand so can't can't go wrong if you buy anything from them really. Um, so, yeah, other faves, Black Moon Cosmetics, Liquid Lipsticks, oh my god. So their Luna is a, is a like, you can use it as a highlight as well, um, or as a topper to make your lips more glittery, 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 yes. Um, my other fave is called Myth, and it's like a emerald green glitter. So I have a few other favorites as well um, in the makeup realm um but i think i'm gonna end it here because it's already getting pretty long although my videos are all very long but um for this i i'm wanting it to be a, not 40 minutes um so i'm gonna stop there um and i will be back next week with another feminist topic and a different um makeup look so please Join me then. Um, I'm recording this last bit on my um, computer, so it's going to look a little different. Sorry about that. I know continuity is important, um, <laughs> but my phone is being a piece of shit at the moment. So there's that. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. And um, subscribe, like this video, like my other videos, share them, please. And follow Gorilla Feminism on Instagram, on Facebook, um, and I'm on Twitter at LaCrista Greco. Again, all underneath below. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.